are those that is, find it too difficult to face their dishonesty and their delusions of grandeur with which they use as a spiritual phenomena to have mastery and control and manipulation over those that has more fear than they have. Hear me. There are three chances as the cycle now closes where you may transcend. Every transcendence you miss you will diminish. Again, do the math. If it is found that you are unable to handle the information that you are currently burdening, burdening yourself with and that the load is too heavy for you to carry, to be self-honest, then you go through a diminishing cycle which will place you in a position to try again. The first cycle is obviously the living cycle where you do it as self-willed individuals here to move yourself to equality and metaphorically speaking becoming actually divine. That obviously has no bearing on what you perceive divinity or God to be. The second cycle, the first step of where you diminish is a death then you lose all the systems that you had to assist you to empower yourself to equality again. <clears throat> Obviously there's consequences when there's diminishment. But then you get another chance. The third cycle is where you reincarnate, which you only get one chance. There is no more cycles of reincarnation that gives you infinite chances. That's done. I mean, come on. You have wished for this yourself. You have in your inner mind asked for a solution to the mess that is existent. And you have not realized that such a solution is going to mean you're going to have to change as well. Stop blaming. Stop finding reasons why you're not going to take responsibility. You have no option in this. You asked for it. And now it's here. Not in the way you wanted it to be, obviously, because otherwise you would have been able to do it. The very fact that you're unable to do this point in actual bringing forth the information in a way that explains the simplicity of the solution is in itself an indication that you were not self-honest. So, there is no forgiveness in the universe. There is the law of karma, consequence. There is self-forgiveness which prepares you to face the consequences of your life. There is self-honesty that takes you to the point where you have to face yourself. And then there is common sense where you actually face yourself and act in a way to stop the cycles that has trapped you. Three simple steps. Self-forgiveness, self-honesty and self-common sense. Those three steps is the road to your freedom from this enslavement that you have created commonsensically, mathematically, scientifically in every possible way you can go and work this out for yourself it is simplistic but in this you are alone no one can help you because if anyone helps you you are enslaved there may be support, but the support is to insist on self-forgiveness, to insist on self-honesty, and to insist on self-common sense. So, understand, this is the end game, and it was never a game.